Sail faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous. Welcome to Sail Faster, Sail Safer, a series of videos presented by professional solo sailor Pip Hare. British Vendée Globe skipper Brian Thompson has sailed non-stop round the world three times. He's about to share with us why reaching is such an important point of sail and how to do it quickly and safely. Reaching is one of my favourite points of sail and you can make uh, big gains in speed by uh, setting the sails up correctly. Uh, on the Vendée Globe you spend a lot of time reaching, perhaps 40% of the time uh, reaching using often an outboard lead to get the jib further out and this really has a double benefit because not only does it make the shape of the jib more even from bottom to top and the leech profile much better but it also opens up the slot between the jib and the main allows the main to be more more effective so uh, you can get gains of over a knot of boat speed just by doing something as simple as setting up an outboard lead which, which involves just putting one block on the rail and one extra sheet on. So we've just been doing that, so we've got a block on the rail, one sheet on the clue, so now there's actually three sheets on the clue. I'm going to ease the old inboard lead and take up on the new outboard lead. There we go, it looks much better already and you can sometimes share half the load between the outboard lead and the inboard lead if you only want to take the sheet out a uh, small amount if you're only very slightly cracked off. But uh, speed's already increased by uh, nearly a knot there, so it really does work and it's definitely worth trying. S steering, I, I, uh, I prefer sitting down to be honest uh, because you, you're in a safer position and um, you can hold the wheel a little bit steady, it's more steady and in, in what you don't really have to be steering around the waves the most important thing is to do a very uh, accurate course and to keep the boat speed high so to be adjusting the sails to uh, maximize your boat speed so as the wind increases you uh, you will get to a certain angle of heel at which which is optimum and after that you'll be depowering the boat by uh, easing the main sheet, perhaps also easing a little bit of jib sheet as well, or moving the car back on the jib sheet. And uh, obviously in l lighter winds you're trying to power the boat as much as possible to, to get to that optimum angle of heel. On the uh, round the world boats, um, often it's actually faster to have the pilot on when you're reaching because it's so wet on deck it's very hard to uh, to see where you're going and the pilot has no fear and will we'll keep going as um, fast as possible. It's more efficient to be letting the pilot do the work and then just uh, trim the mainsail to keep that optimal angle of heel and that's, uh, that's something that uh, can work really well on uh, any boat. Faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous. <laughs> 